Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys and I wanted to do an update on AD or AIDI or AD Inu or AD Finance or Adverse whatever you want to call this token um, but yeah did a video on this yesterday and I says I thought that you know this was going to start making some moves to the upside um, just as I suspected it has um, started to do that so as you can see we are moving to the upside on this token but I want to point out a few things on this as well um, significant things uh, which are super bullish for this chart so the obvious thing is that we are approaching resistance at the moment we've actually broken um, you know some key levels of resistance this would yeah we could say that this was one of them okay guys and as you can see I've got an Elliott wave drawn over there which we will take a look at as well but this is one of the key levels of resistance we've just broken and this is this is just a clear confirmation of a change of trend Okay, guys, if we look at the chart, uh, we know that we broke out of this level already. If we go down like that, obviously, so that was the first sign of a change of trend um, with this token. And of course, we are starting to make impulse waves to the upside. Okay, guys, so right now we are seeing a, uh, you know, we, we, we look like we're in the beginning of the free wave. So we've got a one wave here and then that marks a little bottom down there. Um, now, bearing in mind, there's no, oh, well, it could be uh, ABC. No, it doesn't have an ABC correction, but, you know, we're just speculating here, okay? But it looks like to me that it could be potentially starting a three wave structure. That's if this isn't classed as a one wave. I'm by no means an expert on Elliott wave theory, but this is looking really bullish, okay, guys? And you can see uh, kind of what I expect out of this, all right, guys? Now, of course, this is a very low cap. Uh, altcoin meme coin and um, you know it's still very speculative uh, some some would disagree that you can even do TA on a low cap altcoin but um, I do it because you know what I'd rather uh, do TA and get the best entry rather than not do TA and get a rubbish entry okay guys so if we go like that and we line that up you'll see that we are actually um, following the Fibonacci extension as well you can see that uh, if you look at these key levels, if we come down to the bottom over here, you can see that this was that level of resistance which has just been broken, obviously which signified the first um, higher high. And then we've got a higher low over here which come back down to test the 0.236 on the Fibonacci and obviously we've broken up now and now you can see that we've broken through the 0.618 level obviously so that is the key zone that we wanted to break and we are heading up now past the 0 .70, uh, 0 0.786 up towards this level and of course we should begin to see a little bit of resistance at this level over here let me just mark that out. Okay, you can see a little bit of resistance right over here, which perfectly marks up with this previous high over here. So, you know, it's pretty simple to just draw a Fibonacci and you can get a potential target on this. Okay, guys, now if this was to play it out fully, let's just move this across. If this was to play it out fully, obviously you have a target all the way up here, which lines up with my uh, potential uh, Elliott Wave theory. Okay, guys, and the first target would be this level over here and the numbers are so big on this token because the supply is so high that we can't even put an actual number on it but i'm just giving you you know uh, potential targets in fact even if i get the measurement tool out i won't be able to give you an accurate measurement because you know as you can see the percentages are not coming up you know so i don't really know how to read that but 213 bars from here looking at the 1427 line and obviously that will mean we will take out a zero over here so that is a potential target for this token, super bullish. And of course, if we get a pullback, we may get a pullback back down to the 0.618 level over here, as you can see, and then another move, uh, which would be the wave five. And we would take out this level and we'd have to start drawing some new Fibonacci extensions so we could get a potential target. So I think that this one is super bullish. I do recommend you go back and look at my previous video for AD or AD Inu or Adverse or AD, AD Finance. Recently had a rebrand. Uh, but yeah, this is super bullish to me. Let's not forget that we have a huge double bottom over here. We have a bottom there and a bottom there. All right, guys, we have this key level of resistance where it's come up very unneat level of resistance. But you could say that it's tried to break this level, uh, you know, a couple of times. Tried again over here. And now we are trying for a third time, more or less, 
over here and I believe that we're going to break it if we don't go straight through we might get a little pullback potentially down to this level back to the uh, you know SR flip and then potentially move to the upside to finally take out this level into price discovery and I think sky is the limit for this token now of course if you look at my previous video I compared this with Saitama um, you know Saitama is another token that I really like and I think that this is a super bullish token and if we look at the price action for Saitama for example um, just for those that may not have seen the previous video Saitama took out its previous highs and what did it do it went absolutely crazy when it decides to load up went absolutely crazy as you can see you have the previous high uh, right over here and once it did that it went nuts so right guys so I expect the same type of price action for 80 now of course I don't expect it to mirror it completely but um, you know I expect it to do the same a similar type of thing okay as you can see uh, you get the big free wave to the upside that's a continuation of the free wave and then you get a pullback and then you get the five wave look abc correction and a five wave to the top all right guys so i expect the same kind of thing out of ad or ad finance or ad verse or ad enu whatever you want to call it all right guys remember you can actually buy this token also on uh um the binance smart chain so you can go over to pancake swap and buy this as well or on poo or wherever you would prefer to buy this okay guys but remember um these tokens are not bridged together yet the prices are going to be slightly different um but yeah eventually when the prices come closer together the team intend to bridge this so you can bridge between binance and ethereum or the binance smart chain and ethereum and happy days so i just wanted to give you an update on this as you can see the uh the um uh, volume is increasing as well all right guys let's just get out a few technical indicators as well which i haven't looked at because i tend to go more on my um my my chart patterns okay if we get out our macd and rsi tool and just have a look at those for the sake of the video in fact let's let's get the stochastic up as well all right guys let me know if you like these kind of videos as well because i don't do a lot of them um i used to do them a lot but you know the, the channel has evolved and changed since then as you can see the macd had a bullish cross down here and obviously that signal momentum to the upside so that is looking really good the histogram is looking bullish everything's looking bullish on the macd okay guys and if we look at the rsi which doesn't seem to be showing up let's uh oh no rsi strange that's strange maybe if we increase the time frame okay all right the indicators aren't coming up for the rsis i'm not sure why okay guys it's not like i've checked them before because i don't really need to all right guys this look is super bullish to me as you can see on the one day we are getting that extension so don't be alarmed if there is a pullback once we reach resistance over here that will be completely normal breathing space and then a move to the upside however it uh could just potentially just break straight through all right guys remember this is a meme coin crossed with utility and they've had a rebrand recently so, you know, it could be, you know, as you can see, if you look on the four hour, it is edging up slowly. So it doesn't really have to pull back. But don't be too surprised if it does. It needs that breathing space. As you can see, it start, it's been going up literally more or less in a straight line since this level right here. And as you can see, these pullbacks are getting bought, bought up. This is clearly a bullish uptrend. We're making higher highs, higher lows, higher high, another higher low. And we will potentially break that if we don't break straight through. If we do break straight through, we'll probably break through, come back down to test support and then off to the races all right guys so just thought i put that out there do a quick update on this token because i'm super bullish on this i actually increased my bag on this if you look at my previous video I actually had about 16 billion tokens i more than uh let's say more than quadrupled my investment on this since then all right guys and uh, you know not financial advice but do your own research and all that sort of stuff i'm only showing you what i'm doing telling you what i'm doing and um yeah guys let me know what you think about this in the comments make sure you do me a favor and subscribe to the channel uh like the video that also helps with the youtube algorithm if you tick the little bell you'll be able to get videos like this as soon as they come out uh i'll see you guys in the next video